Once your account is approved and funded, you may add users and grant them access to a subset of Advisor Portal functions. That includes granting access to functions for one or more sub-accounts. Log into Advisor Portal and from the side menu click Settings and Account Settings. The Users and Access Rights panel is displayed to the right in the Configuration column and shows all the users you have added to your account. Click the Configure icon to open the Users and Access Rights screen. Here there are two panels. The Users panel shows those individuals added to your account as well as their relationship to the primary account holder. The User Roles panel shows all user roles that you have created. Add, edit and delete users from the set of icons to the right. To add a user, enter information about the user, including the username, password, name, relationship to the primary account holder and email address. In the next screen, select a user role if you have saved any. User roles automatically apply a set of previously configured access rights to the new user. If you do this, you can skip any additional screens and continue to the review screen. Each screen that follows lets you give the new user rights to access a specific group of functions such as user settings and trading access. On this page you can click on the account drop down at the top to specify which account types are permissible for this user or simply click on the apply all button. For reporting access just check the boxes and then select the account types that apply and then click continue to move through the other pages to grant access, funding, account settings and client management. The last screen in the process lets you review all of the information about the new user, including access rights. Rights that have been assigned to the new user are shown checked and in green. Rights that have not been assigned to the new user are shown crossed out. Click continue if everything is correct. Click back to make changes. If you do not participate in the secure login system for two-factor authentication, you will receive an email with a confirmation number. Enter the confirmation number sent to you via email, then click Continue. A user role contains a set of access rights to the functions in Advisor Portal that you can apply to new users without having to grant individual access rights across several screens. Assign a name to the role you wish to create and click Continue. On the following page, Select the Settings Access for that role and click Continue. If you wish to provide this user role with trading access rights to trading platforms and or post-trade allocations, check the box and click Continue. On the following page, check the required boxes for access to this user role for Statements and Other Reports, Settings, Portfolio Analyst and Tax. Click Continue. The next page displays available funding access choices. Make your selections and click Continue. Make selections for this designated user role for account settings access, for account configuration, profile, financial information and trading permissions. Click Continue. Finally, for functions related to managing client accounts, make your selections from the client management choices and click Continue. Review the information you have selected and click Continue. An email will be sent to you containing a confirmation number that must be entered to complete the addition of a user role. Enter the number and click Continue to save the new user role, which will now appear when you revert to Users and Access Rights. See the link at the end of this lesson for additional information in the Advisors Getting Started User's Guide.